Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today is the first video. I'm going to kind of make like a little vlog. Um, I didn't just wake up. I woke up maybe like half an hour ago. Uh, normally, I like to wake up at 6.30 and be at the gym by 7. But I think for some reason today, the gym is opening at 8. So I woke up around 6.45 instead. Um, and I've kind of just been running around the house getting some things together. Um, I'm going to head out to the gym in a little bit. And I kind of wanted to take you throughout my day. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I just got to the gym. I tried to record on the way over by setting my phone on the dashboard, but it wasn't working with me. So maybe next time I can record the drive to the gym. But basically, I just got here. I'm going to go through a leg day. I'm going to walk you through it. Maybe not explaining my workouts, but I'll show you what I like to do, how I like to start off my workouts. And I'll probably put in timestamps so that you can see how long I'm doing each workout for, how many reps and how many sets. And then after that, I guess we'll just kind of see where the day takes us. All right, so the first thing I want to do is start rolling out my muscles. What this is going to do is activate the muscles so that they're ready to go for the day. And since I'm hitting legs, I'm going to start with my quads and just kind of roll out the thighs. And then eventually I'll work my way down and get down to the calves. All right, and now that I've finished rolling out my muscles, I'm going to go ahead and start working my core. I like to start with the core because it's just, it's down and out of the way. Baby, I got when you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove, yeah, that baby I got you, no matter the distance, no matter the hopes, yeah, baby I got you. In between us, still I feel your heartbeat mm -hmm. There's something about you, baby That makes me feel complete Nobody's meant to be fighting alone That's why I'm taking you home I never felt something like this before, no Alright, so I basically just finished the strength training part of my workout I'm just stretching a little bit I wasn't able to record all of my workouts because my camera woman had to leave due to an unforeseen event. So um, next time I'll make sure to bring a tripod so I can record everything for you guys. All right, just heading down the stairs, gonna do some cardio. I'll update you guys when I'm done. All right, so I just finished up at the gym. I'm gonna head home and take a shower. Um, after that, I have a couple things planned out for the day, just mainly running some errands. All right, so as you can probably tell, I just got out of the shower. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of makeup, not a whole bunch, probably just my eyes. And then I'm going to make a quick run to the farmer's market. It's um, about 11 right now and they close at 12, so I have to be fast. But I guess maybe while I'm doing my makeup, I could just give a little bit of background about who I am and why I started the YouTube video. So my name is Nadia, I'm 22 years old and I am a student at UCSC. I study psychology and I'm a big fan of health and fitness. And um, I just really wanted to share my passion with everyone. And I guess I should also probably mention that I am not just starting this fitness journey. It's been a little over a year for me. Um, I started at about 170 pounds. And by working out and just eating better and intermittent fasting, which is something I'm still doing, I was able to bring that weight down to about 145, 146 last I checked. People have been saying that I've been doing really well and they ask me how I did it. And so that eventually just got me thinking maybe I want to start posting Instagram reels or starting a YouTube channel. So I was doing Instagram reels, but I figured it was about time to start a YouTube channel. Um, I'm still kind of getting the hang of it. You know, this is the first video. But I'm excited to see where everything goes. I think once I finish my makeup, I'm going to go pick up my friend and we're going to go to the farmer's market like I mentioned. But I also need to make a quick run to Goodwill and donate some things. I've been cleaning out my closet because we're selling this house and we're going to be moving. So it's just it's kind of a mess right now. You might think that it wasn't a good idea to start a YouTube channel now, but, you know, YOLO. you got to do what you got to do. Um, so I'm just kind of getting things together. And once I finish the Goodwill, actually before I go to Goodwill, I might make a quick run to Trader Joe's. Um, kind of want to make some something to eat. Right, so we just got to the farmer's market. Lots of fresh veggies and uh, fruits. So 
All of these uh, items that I brought here are generally from farm to table. It's a lot healthier than what you get at the grocery store, uh, like Ralph's or what's another one? What's another grocery store besides Ralph's? Oh, Trader Joe's. Like, Trader Joe's is a good one. I think those are a lot better than the other options you can get, but generally farmer's markets, even though they're a little more pricey, the quality of the items is just so much better. Um, but I think my personal favorite thing to get here at the farmer's market is the baked goods. Generally, they're gluten-free, so I can have those. And while I try not to indulge too much in them, uh, I do like to get them from time to time uh, and just, you know, have those while I'm studying. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great. But so, so Yasmin got her cookies. <laughs> we got it from Moonbird. Um, they're really good, usually uh, gluten-free, grain-free, dairy-free, and sometimes they have unbaked items. Those are pretty good, too. So overall, I would say the trip to the farmer's market wasn't that successful for me. Um, I came kind of late, so a lot of the good things were taken. Um, and I generally just didn't really need any sort of veggies today, um, maybe next week. But this week, it was, just, it was nice to see all the vendors again and kind of e explore and see what they brought. All right, so I'm here at the Trader Joe's, and I think what I want to do... So I want to make a tuna salad tonight for dinner. Um, and that's pretty easy to make. Just need a couple cans of tuna, preferably in water or not vegetable oil, but olive oil is okay. And then um, some celery, some onion, and mayonnaise, I believe. Pretty basic. Um, but I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm looking for the tuna right now. So I found the tuna. They have the albacore and yellowfin tuna. But I think what I want to do is I think I want to go for the albacore tuna salt added in water. Um, it says in water over here. So I think I'm going to get three cans of this. So, so far I have one red onion, some celery, and then tuna in my basket. Um, I prefer to have the red onion in the tuna salad just because it's a little sweeter than the yellow onion, which is a bit of a sharper taste, and I think it just adds to it overall. When I have the tuna salad, I generally like to have it on something crunchy. You can put it on lettuce, but I want something like really crunchy. They, they don't have tostadas here today. So I was going to get these organic white corn tortilla chips but i was looking in the ingredients and it mentioned the sunflower or safflower oil which is definitely a no-go you want to avoid any sort of seed oils when you're shopping so instead i was able to find this lentil and chickpea crackers and um, there's no mention of any sort of uh, oil like safflower sunflower oil any sort of seed oil you just want to avoid so i'm going to go ahead and choose this instead today all right so i would say the trader joe's run overall was pretty successful yasmin got some flowers uh do you want to show them your flowers you want to hold it up? Nice <laughs> flowers. Um, so I would say it's overall pretty successful. I'm, I think I'm going to drop Yasmin off now and then run a couple more errands on my own. Um, and then after that, I'll probably get back to the play, to my place and start making something to eat. I've had a couple things to nibble on here and there, but I haven't really had a full-on meal yet. So I'm excited to eat. <laughs> So I just dropped off Yasmin and I'm headed back to my place now. I wanted to stop by Goodwill today, but I don't think I'm going to have time. It's already 1.30 and I know that's a bit of a time skip from when I last updated the vlog. Um, it was just more like I was with her. We went to a Trader Joe's that was a little further away from her place than we were anticipating. Um, so I've just dropped her off and I had to make a quick stop at Target to get some packing tape. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is stop by Goodwill tomorrow and instead I'm just going to go home now and make something to eat. I'm pretty hungry and I'll just update you guys then. Alright, so I'm just getting home. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I think I'm just going to go ahead and start making that tuna salad. I know that we need some mustard and mayonnaise. I have this um, avocado oil mayonnaise with some organic Dijon mustard. I'm gonna go ahead and bring everything over. Oh, um, and in case you haven't met him, this is Pichu. He's, uh, he's my cat. And we do have two dogs, Coco and Brownie. Let me see if I can lower the camera. That's Brownie and that's Coco. Hi, Coco. And Brownie is the little guy. Uh, yeah, we have a full house here. Um, let me put my hair up before I start doing anything. So I definitely want to share my personal fitness journey and how I was able to lose weight and also just, you know, kind of keep that weight off because I've done uh, different types of diets and workouts and they never really worked for me. I wasn't able to keep the weight off, but uh, 
maybe last year, 2022, um, I was in a relationship with my ex. And I kind of just noticed at one point that I weighed the same amount as him. So I'm 5'3", and he's 5'10". But we were both weighing in around 170 pounds. That's, that was a bit of a wake-up call for me. Like, I, as a 5'3 woman, I should not be weighing 170. I was definitely overweight. And um, so I decided to just kind of change how I was living. And I was honestly just kind of tired of it. And I finally, like, I looked in the mirror, and I was just kind of like, that is not who I want to be. It started off with me going to the gym. I was going to the gym pretty regularly. I would wake up at 5.30 in the morning, be at the gym by 6.00. And just kind of, oh, I'm draining the tuna now. I open the can and I'm draining the tuna. And Pishu heard it, so he came running over. Um, so I'd start working out. And to be honest, when I was first starting all of this, I was a lot more intense than I was now, than I am now. Um, you know, I still wake up early and I go to the gym. But back then, I was going to the gym twice a day. And I was just, re hang on. And I was just really focused on where I wanted to get. So I'm not saying that you have to do that necessarily. Um, hang on. But something that really helped me was intermittent fastings. And I definitely want to go into that today. Um, but that's just kind of where I started. So for this, I just dumped tuna in. And now I'm going to go and add in some mayonnaise and mustard. And I don't, I'm not sure if you guys can hear him, but you might hear him in, eventually. But... My cat, Pishu, he's very talkative. He he likes to make everyone know he's here. So you might hear him. Um, so one tablespoon of mayonnaise. And add in some mustard. Um, so with intermittent fasting, it's basically a constricted window in which you eat. I started off doing, um, let me think, what was that's the count? I believe it's like a 12-12. So I started to eat at 9 a.m. and then at 9 p.m. I would stop eating and then eventually as I became more comfortable with that I would constrict that window so now I'm at a 7 p.m. cutoff and I start eating around 11 11 30 and then on days where I'm feeling really good I'll try to go until 12 but it's not a form of starvation I think that's important to note it's not that I'm starving myself I'm still eating what I normally would eat during the day and I'm feeling full and I'm making sure I'm getting every, all the nutrients I need I'm eating my vegetables and I'm getting in my proteins and in all the healthy fats. Um, essentially what it is is that that period of time when you're not eating, it's a break for your body to kind of deal with the metabolisms. But it's basically a break for your body to stop metabolizing all the food you were eating during the day. Adding some salt. Sorry, one more time. I have to add the pepper now. Um, so when your body isn't constantly digesting, there's not constantly food in your stomach, it's allowing for your body to break all the foods down and kind of start at a baseline zero. And so in the mornings when I go to work out and I'm doing a fasted workout, what that's allowing is for my body to automatically fall into that fat burning zone where I'm able to just, I think the best way to describe it would be if I'm at baseline zero in the mornings when I wake up and I'm working out, I'm already at into the fat burning zone. Whereas if I were to start at baseline zero and eat something in the morning, like an apple, now that brings you up to like, let's say five points. Now I have to work extra hard just to get back to baseline zero in order to go back into that fat burning zone. So by doing all of that, I was able to just do the intermittent fasting and I was able to consistently get my body into that fat burning zone to the point where my body was comfortable using my fat reserves as a source of energy as opposed to those quick resources in the morning that you get maybe from your eggs or from toast um, or even from like waffles, something like that. So that was really helpful for me. And I think that it's really important to note for anyone who's looking to start losing weight or to get into shape. Um, working out is definitely an aspect of losing weight and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. But if working out is super important, I would say it's only 30% of the effort. The rest of the effort, the 70%, should come from what you're eating. And I know that sounds like really hard, especially considering the kind of 
you know, culture we live in today in the U.S. where everything is super processed and everyone is encouraged to eat out, go to McDonald's, and everyone is super busy, right, with work. Um, so it's just everything in mainstream society is telling you, oh, you should go and you should go eat out or just get this really quick thing. It's cheap and it's easy. You don't have to worry about cooking for the family tonight. Well, yeah, it might seem like it's okay in that time, but if you think about it, all of that stuff is so processed. Everything, how many chemicals have been added to that before it finally got down to your plate? And those, if you look at it, the fries from McDonald's, there's this woman on her, I think her wedding day or something, she had gone to McDonald's and purchased a hamburger, just the meat and bun and a thing of fries. And she put it aside in her closet and 20 years later, it hadn't molded, it hadn't gone bad, it was just still there. So just think about how many preservatives are put into the food you're eating, even 20 years ago. Before that, they were able to come up with these like new regulations and things where they're able to get away with adding different types of preservatives. So the food we're eating now is even more processed than it already was back then. So just imagine if that food is able to be preserved over a 20-year period, what are you eating now? Is what you're eating even actually food? So just thinking about it like that definitely put it into perspective for me. And, you know, definitely as a college student, fast food and just eating out, getting something cheap and quick is attractive. But if I wanted to maintain a healthy lifestyle and just feel better and do better, look better, I can't live that kind of lifestyle. And so I feel like a lot of people find it difficult. They think that I'm putting in all this extra work and I'm, like having to go out of my way to do what I'm doing just to look better, feel better. Um, and I honestly want to prove that that's not the case. I guess that's my entire spiel about why I wanted to start this YouTube channel to prove, oh, hey, like it's not as hard as people think to live healthy and feel better and look better and do all these things. Because when I tell people, oh, yeah, I'm a full time student and I have a job off campus and I'm posting on Instagram, and now I'm starting a YouTube channel, but I still find time to cook my own meals. They kind of just look at me and they wonder, how are you doing that? And still find time to do your own things, like go to the gym. And I think a big part of it is learning what recipes are easy and quick to make. And it's honestly, you learn that there are quite a few of them over time. It gets easier and easier at, the more you commit to it, the more time you put into learning these recipes. I'm just going to show you I chopped up my onions and I'm going to give it a little mix. You and me. And I just wanted to see the celery I cut up in tiny cubes. Okay, so basically I finished making the tuna salad. So... Um, basically I finished making it and now I'm going to go ahead and try it with some of these crisps and I think in total it took me 15 minutes to make everything. So this is a tiny cute little crisp. I'm going to go ahead and add on the tuna salad and honestly this is just it's super easy to make. You can keep it in the fridge for a few days. This is a really great example of something you can easily meal prep. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Mm -hmm. Definitely add seasoning to make it more your taste. Um, I think I would have added a little bit more salt. But it's super easy to make. And it makes a pretty good portion. Um, and I'll honestly, that's probably my breakfast and lunch tomorrow um, when I break my fast. Now that I'm going to eat, I'm probably going to do some work. Um, I still have two weeks of classes left and then finals. So... I'll probably do a time lapse of me doing some of that work and then I'll probably just settle down for the rest of the night. Okay, I feel like I should clarify. I definitely go to Trader Joe's to shop for um, healthy options and definitely not just because of this. Yeah, definitely for the healthy food, not because Pichu likes the bag. All right, so it's a little while later and it's time for me to just do some schoolwork because I do have some assignments due next week. Um, so I figured I'd just show you a little bit of what I like to do. It's not much. I kind of just work on my laptop, but I did bring myself a little snack. I cut up one apple and a bunch of blueberries. And once I go through the bowl of snacks, then I'll probably head over to the kitchen and just warm up some dinner that I had last night. All 
All right, it is currently 6.30, so it's time for me to have some dinner. I'm going to go ahead and have this little curry thing that my mom made last night. It has chickens, potatoes, green beans, and mushrooms. I'm also going to go ahead and have a banana with all of this. And since it is still pretty early in the day, it's only 6.30, um, I'm probably just going to go back to studying after this, and I'm going to take the dogs for a walk. And I think that's all I'm going to be able to put in for this video. But if you like this and you want to see more content, make sure you subscribe and hit, a, hit the like button. And I'll definitely be uploading more soon.